So let us discuss about uh, unbalanced force. This is also called resultant force. Resultant force situation or unbalanced force situation comes, you have many forces acting on the body, but net force is not zero. Net force has some non-zero value. Then it is called unbalanced force or resultant force. Let me explain you more in detail. See the first example. It's a small trolley. The force F1 of 2 newtons act towards east. F2 equal 3 newtons act towards west. What is the unbalanced force here or resultant force here? So you can see here it is F1 <coughs> 2 newtons, F2 is 3 newtons. Then how to find resultant force? You f when the two forces are opposite direction, you take the maximum force, subtract the minimum force from the maximum. So here the resultant force is F2 minus F1, 3 Newton minus 2, 2 Newton which is 1 Newton. Force is a vector quantity. So it has magnitude and direction. So which side the body moves? So it is 1 Newton towards west. So it is towards west. Okay, so that is how you are finding the resultant force and unbalanced force. Now see the second example. Now, if you want to solve this numerical, pass the video, solve all the numericals and play it again and match with my answers. Now see the second one. Is the two forces acting in the same direction, F1, F2? F3 is also in the same direction. So resultant force is here, F1 plus F2 plus F3 because all three in the same directions. So 3 Newtons plus 1 Newton plus 4 Newton. So the answer is 8 Newton. Which side? Towards east. <coughs> now third one. F1, F3 in the same direction but F2 in the opposite direction. So therefore you would take F1 plus F3 total 6 Newton plus 2 Newton which is 8 Newtons towards east side but 3 newtons left side so therefore this is 8 newton minus 3 newton which is 5 newtons towards east if you see this a little different f1 is towards east side f2 towards north side and both forces are not parallel both forces are not opposite but they are perpendicular. How they are perpendicular? See here, if I extend these lines, extend these lines, you can see that both have the angle of 90 degrees. So both forces are perpendicular forces. Now how do you solve these numericals? When you have perpendicular forces, you need to depend on Pythagoras theorem. See here. So this is F2. And this is F1. Now the resultant force always will be here. This is resultant force. Resultant force R. And to find resultant force, R equal to root over F1 square plus F2 square. Pythagoras theorem. So you apply, if you apply here, F1 square is 4 square, F2 square is 3 square. So, which is uh, 16 plus 9, 25 root 25 and uh, root 25 answer is 5. 5 Newton is the resultant force. And what is the direction? It is south east. So, it is south east. Good. Now, see the fifth one. One more little difficult one. It is not perpendicular. But, F2 force applied such that it make an angle 30 degrees with F1. How do we solve? For this you should know vectors. Resolution of vectors. Resolve a vector in along cos theta and sin theta. So here as F2 is a vector, it resolves into two components. One is along F1 and other one is along vertical. And here it is cos 30 f2 cos 30 it is and this is f2 sin 30 like that the first result two components now we our interest is to find the velocity or the force not velocity force 
along horizontal. So in a horizontal, the total force, if you see, F2 cos 30 plus F1. Cos 30, you should know the value, but I will tell you here, cos 30 is root 3 by 2, F2 is 2, 2 into root 3 by 2 plus F1 is 3. So, 2 to cancel, 3 plus root 3. Root 3 is 1.732 plus 3. So, this is 4.732 Newtons. See the last one. Again, a simpler problem you have got. A realistic problem. A car is moving this field with the, with the force of 20 Newton because of engine and it is suffering with a frictional force of 5 Newtons. So, what is the resultant force? And resultant force is F1 minus F. So, 20 minus 5. This is a 15 newtons and it is towards east. <coughs> this is how you need to solve the numericals to find the force quantitatively. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.